What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. An iOS 10.3 release is rumored for the near future, and so I wanted to jump into the rumored features of iOS 10.3, along with what you guys should know about this update, so let's get right into it. So iOS 10.3, there were some rumors floating around that it would be released on January 10th, but unfortunately we did not see anything come around on that day from Apple. As you guys can see, today is January 12th. Now there is a good amount of speculation surrounding the iOS 10.3 release date, and I have heard that it still could be released in January, but I've also heard that Apple may release the new firmware alongside new hardware coming later in the spring around the March timeframe. Now I'm really hoping that it does come earlier rather than later, as I am a little impatient here, guys. But the date is really up in the air at this point. Now there is also speculation regarding the features of the iOS 10.3 firmware, and I have to say the best rumored feature of iOS 10.3 has to be the new dub theater mode, guys. Now I would expect theater mode to be an enhanced version of the iOS dark mode that has been available on jailbroken devices for quite some time now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that here. As you guys can see, I am jailbroken here. I do have the dark mode installed and it just looks absolutely incredible. You guys can see that the settings application looks totally different. Your music just looks great and it really would be an interesting feature. The calendar looks totally different and it really just dark themes everything. My springboard actually is not themed with dark mode. The dock is down there. I do have to change the wallpaper, but that kind of gives you a sense of what the dark mode will look like. I mean, it even changes the health app. It changes absolutely every aspect of the device, notification center, great stuff here. So really looking forward to the dark mode. I definitely think that it will fit in well with the space gray or the jet black iPhones and it does look incredible. So I'm excited for that and it's a lot easier on your eyes guys. I definitely think I will be using this and it will be useful for many of us just when you're reading your phone at night or looking at your phone at night. There will also be a control center option to turn on and off night mode or dark mode, whatever you want to call it. So really excited about that in iOS 10.3. Now, I've also heard that there may be some iPad specific features. This is my iPhone 6S, but of course, I have not actually been able to confirm the iPad specific features. They have not been confirmed in rumors, so I can't speak too much to those features, but hopefully they're interesting and hopefully they do come around. It's always good to have more functionality. So lastly, Apple is working hard to bring security to the iPhone and the iDevice collection. And unfortunately guys, this will patch the jailbreaks, but it does make the devices more stable and you will receive a performance increase when this release is available, solely because security updates and patches really just work to iron out all the bugs in the system. Even though we lose a jailbreak, I'm trying to view the positive of it here. So iOS 10.3, that's pretty much what we know at this point, and of course I'm excited for it. I will be doing more videos when it is released, so definitely click that subscribe button down there to stay up to date on all of my content. Be sure to check out my description of the video for my social media links to keep in touch with me at the Macintosh Review. Thanks for watching, as always, guys, and stay awesome. I'll catch you next time. Peace.